Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson 4 Find the Equations of Exponential Functions Home Review Part 3, where we're doing question 3. Hope you guys uh, checked out videos 1 and 2, and I hope they're helpful, leading us to this question number 3. Each of the previous problems had values of a and b that were rational numbers. They don't need to be. Find the equation for an exponential function that passes through the points 2, 14 and 7, 205 in the y equals a times b to the x form. When you find the value b, do not round your answer before you find a. Then find both the nearest hundredth and give the final equation. Check to see if the points fall on the curve. And so here's the thing. We're definitely going to use a graphing calculator. So if you have your uh, graphing calculator, please make sure you have it out and follow along as we go over this question. Our two coordinates are 2, 14 and 7, 205. So we create our first equation from x and y, filling in the 2 and the 14. So we have 14 is equal to a times b to the second power. Our second equation comes from a coordinates x is 7 and y is 205. So we'll get 205 is equal to a times b to the seventh power. And again, we're going to divide one equation by the other because, you know, in this case, we can divide out the a values. And the nice thing in this case, again, I, I personally like having our b value with the highest exponent be our numerator. So we'll take our 205 equals a times b to the seventh power and divide it by 14 is equal to a times b to the second power. So we divide the left side and the right side. And again, the a values divide out. On the right side, we're going to have b to the fifth divided by b squared. So b to the seventh by b squared. So b to the seven minus two would be b to the fifth power. And then we have 205 over 14. Now I'm going to leave it this way. And we're going to, again, use our technique of raising both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent for b. Well, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. So let's get to our calculator here, okay? So we take 205, parentheses 205, divide by 14. Let's clear out everything from before. So parentheses 205, divide by 14 and close that parenthesis. And we're gonna raise that to the one fifth power. One fifth power. And we're gonna get a numerical value of 1.71050821818. And it will continue onwards because this in this case is probably an irrational number, meaning it cannot be written as a ratio of two integers. We try to use our math button, math and change to a fraction, we will find that we get the same result. The calculator is unable to rewrite this as a fraction. And so we have this answer here, all right? And we're not going to round this off here. So let's go back to our, our problem here. So <clears throat> I'll leave this as the following. B is equal to 205 over 14 to the one fifth power, which is the same as the decimal we found from before. Now, we're going to, in this case, plug the B value, this crazy decimal, into this equation, solve for A. So we have 14 is equal to A. Now you're saying to yourself, Mr. Gong, why am I not rounding off yet? Well, first off, it said in this case, do not round your answer before you find A. Okay? And in this case, uh, we're not going to round our answer before we find A. All right? Because, so we're going to use this, this, uh, this decimal. Really, it is the exact value is 205 to the f over 14 
to the one fifth power. And we're gonna take this number and the exponent here is two. So we're gonna square this. Again, the B value is replaced into this part of the equation. Now it's a good thing because we have this numerical value already solved in our calculator. Okay? And so we're gonna take this here and square it. Let's go back to our calculator. Our answer, we'll just bring this up. This is the answer we have. All right, well, you know what? Just to make sure, in case people are like, oh, how you know? Well, I'll take this one here. Okay, so we're we'll gonna enter this here and we're going to square it because that's what it has to do. Enter. And so now we get this 2.92583364 as the number of b squared. Okay, let's get back to our work here. And so we're going to get 14. So 14 is equal to a times, oh, what was the number again? 2.9, 2.9, 258. Two five eight dot dot dot. Now, I'm not rounding off. You're saying, what do you mean? Did you round off here? No, no, no. What happens is I'm going to divide both sides by this crazy number, two point nine two five eight. I have it saved in my calculator. So what I can do is I can divide fourteen by this crazy number here. Okay. Now I could rewrite as 204, 205, 14 to the two fifths power using the laws of exponents and divide by both sides by that. But you know we're recognizing where this number come from. We just found a calculator here. So this is this here again. This number here is the value of this expression here. And so we'll divide to find a. We're going to divide both 14 by this number here of 2.9258 that we have in the calculator. Again, I'm not stopping at A. In order to, to type it or retype it over again, I have it saved in my graphing calculator. So I'm going to take 14 and divide by. Now, how am I going to copy that that the number? I just bring my cursor up and hit enter, and it will automatically copy it for us. It looks like it's rounded off here. It's not. It is not. If you're concerned, here's what we'll do. All right, if you're concerned about this, like, oh, it looks like round off. Okay, so here's what I'll do then. Oops. Well, first let's find the answer. Let's see if we get, we get this, okay? 4.78595332. Let's see whether or not if we took 14 and divide by this numerical answer from before, our original number squared, and see if we got the same thing. And yes, we do. And so our A value is going to be 4.78495332. All right. But it asks us to round to the nearest hundredth. Well, so we round to the nearest hundredth. Our A value is going to be 4.78. Hundredth is the two decimal places. And because four does is not a five or greater, we're not rounding up. I know you're saying, but what if we round up back here? When you round to the nearest hundredth, you only take it to the next place over and use that number to decide whether or not we're rounding up or not. So, so our A value is 4.78. Now, our B value, our B value we found already is the number up here, which is in this case, uh, 1.71050821. One point seven well really one point seven one. Okay, what about this number? This number was B squared. If you remember what we did to help solve for A. Okay. So uh, so let's go back to the problem here. So we are gonna get for our values, our A value, we said. Round it to the nearest hundredth and find both to the nearest hundredth. So A was equal to, we found that to be 4.78. And our B value, we found this B value to be 1.71. Therefore, the function we're looking for in y equals A plus A times B to the x power is 4.78 times 
1.71 to the x power. This was going to be our function. Now, again, because we're rounding off, we may not get the exact values, but we are going to check and see if the coordinates fit. So here's our check and see how close we get. Okay. So we want to check. If we plug in 2, if you plug in 2, do we get 14? Okay. Well, let's take a look. So does 14 equal to 4.78? times 1.71 squared. So let's take a look back to our calculator. All right, so we have 4.78 times 1.71 squared. So we're going to square this. And do we get 14? We get it very close to it. We get 13.977. If you round off, even if you round off to the nearest hundredth, you will get you get fourteen point zero zero. So it's pretty darn close, pretty darn close. So we see in this case that it's pretty close. All right. So we get it was thirteen point nine seven seven dot dot dot. So it's about so in this case, this is approximately fourteen. Now let's check the other coordinate. So if we plug in seven. We plug in 7, do we get 205? Okay, and so does 205 equal to 4.78 times 1.71 raised to the 7th power? Go to our calculator again. And the nice thing about this too is that I can, instead of typing the whole thing out, I can, with graphing calculator, I can just go up here. I can, I can basically copy this and then just move this over to the cursor. Of course, over the two, we want to change to a seven. And now we have to type out everything out again. We hit enter and we'll see if we get, uh, I believe the number was, uh, was going to be 205. 204.36, okay, 204.36. All right. And so to nearest, to us, to nearest hundredth, so we get about 204. Point three six, and so is it close? So the answer we're going to give in this case because it is not, it's not equal. Okay, so definitely not equal. So we would say the two coordinates, coordinates, do not lie on the graph on the on the graph of the equation. Of the exponential equation, but they do come close. All right, and this has to do with the fact that we're rounding off. Okay, if we use exact values, for example, if I just use two hundred four for over fourteen raised to one fifth power for b. And, you know, then we would probably be able to get an answer there. Um, and if we, you know, took 14 divided by 214, 205 or 14 to the two-fifths power, that would be the exact value. We would get that, though. But we would round off. It's a little bit off, though, okay? So here we go with our equation. And we'll find in this case we will not always get exact answers, but we'll get pretty darn close. Well, this is the end of our home review part for uh, number three. I hope you found this helpful. Please give us a video a like and leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Again, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and look out for our next video for part four. Thanks for watching. Take care. Be safe.